I've decided to start adding a little bit of structure into my vlogging so that it's not me just doing random things all of the time and so that if there's a particular thing that you enjoy you are more inclined to tune in on specific days to watch specific things. Um, one thing that I enjoy doing at work with my dementia residents is a thing that I'm calling magic memories which is doing magic tricks with the residents and teaching them how to do some as well to help with dexterity, memory and just genuinely having a good time. So what I'm going to be doing on my Magic Memory Mondays is simple, simple tricks that you can do at home and that you can learn and I will teach you how to do them. Um, and then you can go on and use those however you like. So if you work in aged care and you'd like to teach or learn, um, you can do that, or childcare, even in general physio, uh, helps with the dexterity of the hands because you've got to use both of your hands a lot, and lots of people in accidents have been found that magic helps them. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is the most simple of tricks. We're going to take this ball here, we're going to put it into our hand, we're going to blow it, and it's going to dip. Oh, it's, it's upside down. So what we'll just return it the right way up. We're going to take it here, we're going to put it into our hand, we're going to blow. Give it a bit of a wiggle, and it will go. Wow. Like that. And now I'll teach you how that you can do it as well. What we're going to do is you're going to take your bowl, show it around, show your hands are empty at all times, because people love accusing magicians that they've got another one hidden in their hand. You can get people to check your sleeves, whichever way you want to do it. What you're going to do is to break the ice, is you're going to place it into your hand, like this, give it a blow, and then open it, and then they'll realise that the ball hasn't actually gone anywhere, which is when you can say that you've had it the wrong way the entire time. So then what you're going to do is turn it up the right way, you're going to place it, pinch it between your thumb and index finger. You're going to place it straight into the middle of your hand here. And then at that time, you're going to fold these fingers up to conceal the bowl, which I will show you a different angle in a second. Um, place it here, fold that. As you're doing that, you're stealing the bowl out of your hands under the cover of these three fingers and then you're going to hide it in this hand which is what we call a basic palm. I will create another video another Monday on palming and what it is but this is a basic palm where the ball is hidden in your hand and to the unsuspecting eye looks as though there's nothing there. So you'll take the middle and the thumb, conceal it hide it in here, and then misdirection, which is another key of magic, is causing all the tension on here, so that people aren't looking here. This is when you can ditch it, throw it, whatever you feel. But we're gonna put all direction on here, give it a little bit of a wiggle. Uh, you can have a magic wand or a magic pass. You can get someone to put their hand over the top, whichever way you wanna go. Give it a blow and then slowly reveal. One more time, I'll do it nice and slow in your hand, placing it straight on the palm, bring your fingers up, concealing the ball whilst pulling out. Pulling out. Hey. Whilst placing it there, stealing the ball out and concealing your hand like that. Misdirection, keep it up here, give it a blow, and then done. Wow. Alright, I'm feeling a little generous, so I'm going to do one more for you. And if you can figure it out, write it down in the comments. If you can't, wait till next week and I will show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our ball, we're going to put it in our hand like we just learned, give it a blow, give it a bit of a wiggle, and it disappears. But you and I both know it doesn't go far, because whenever you lose a ball, it always ends up back in your pocket. But what happens is if you put this ball in your hand like this and you give it a bit of a squeeze, and you rub it, you can saw it down the middle and end up with two. If 
you can figure out how it's done, write in the comments. If you can't figure it out, wait till next week and I'll show you how it's done. Side note, if you happen to be looking for some sponge balls and you don't know where to buy them, send me a message because I've got about 200 sitting in my house and I'm more than happy to send some out to you. Peace.